All right, so today we're going to talk about pressure, specifically air pressure. <clears throat> so uh, what is pressure? Um, and so here we have an example of air particles moving. And so pressure uh, is just the number of, it's just the collisions, or it's the number of collisions. So as these particles move, when they collide, it creates pressure. And so that if you have increased number of collisions, you have an increase in number of uh, pressure. Should I say instead of number, it should just be increased pressure. So biggest thing here, just remember number of collisions with walls or you know, you, uh, the more collisions, the more pressure you'll experience. So it depends on three uh, variables, gas pressure, number of molecules, temperature, and volume. It's all about molecules. So if you think about it, if you just think about it in terms of collisions being pressure, if you have more molecules, you can have more collisions. So therefore, the pressure will increase. Uh, as the temperature increases, those molecules start moving faster. And then so therefore, you would have more collisions with higher temperature, and so for a higher pressure. And then volume, if you lower the, vo if you compress volume, that means the uh, walls, I guess, are closer, and so therefore, um, you would have more collisions and therefore higher pressure. So just to recap, um, more molecules, more collisions, more um, uh, lo uh, lower volume would be more collisions, and then higher temperature would be more collisions. Okay. All right. There's a neat simulation. Uh, I was gonna upload. Let's see if I can find it. This is a FET simulation. FET is actually from the University of Colorado, or it's produced by the University of Colorado. Um, so here we have I have it in Russian, I think. But anyways, all right. So here you have. Um, you can take a look. Here is the pressure. Uh, and then up here is the degrees in Kelvin. Um, and then, so if we add heat, you'll see the start moving. You'll see this is increasing, right? And then you'll start to see the, the pressure increase too. So I'm adding heat. You'll see the pressure. So the pressure is right here. Oh, the pressure is going to increase. So pressure is right there. Okay. And if I lower the heat, if I lower the temperature, and you see the, the molecule starts slowing down, so that there's less. Con what about volume? If I, the volume gets smaller, there's more collisions. So you can kind of see that. Volume gets bigger, as you can see, it takes longer for collisions. And then if I add more, there's going to be more collisions with the walls, right? You'll see here the pressure starts going up. Okay. I don't know how it was in Russian. Anyways, cool. All right, let's talk specifically about air pressure. So air pressure is... Uh, the downward force that air exerts on the Earth's surface. So air, uh, so here we have kind of an example. What you'll notice that these are air particles. There are more air particles near the um, lower portion of Earth, and that's actually due to gravity. Gravity kind of holds onto the air particles. Um, so 
Um, and then so a barometer measures the atmospheric pressure. Uh, so that's something you need to know. And uh, the next question is how does air pressure change with altitude? Well, if we imagine, let's say there's a guy right here versus a person, say, up here. The person closer to the ground is going to have all this air. Let me just erase this real quick. Let's just do this again. So the person on the ground will have quite a bit of air underneath them, right? So they'll have this amount of air. And so there's quite a bit of pressure. Remember, the more uh, the higher the number of particles, the more pressure that you'll experience. Why there'll be zoom and more collisions. But if you're hanging out up here, you can see there's less. They're under less particles. There's less particles around them, and so therefore they'll they'll um, they'll experience lower air pressure. Okay. Okay, this is what a barometer looks like. Um, and so you can see that as there's more atmospheric pressure, right, as there are more particles of air particles above, what happens is it's gonna push down on this reservoir of mercury. Uh, we, uh, and then that will cause this to push up, right? And so the higher the amount of, the higher the amount of mercury, the more pressure there is, right? And so if there's less pressure, like this, this arrow or this force downwards is smaller, then there, therefore there'll be less pressure and that side will actually go down. So the barometer, the height of the barometer tells you the atmospheric pressure. The thing you have to know is the atmospheric pressure at sea level is one atmosphere, we call it one atmosphere, and that's equal to 760 millimeters of mercury. Uh, so if so the, the distance is 760 millimeters, or the height is 760 millimeters of mercury. Oops. All right, so Dalton's law of partial pressure. So the total pressure of a mixture of gases is equal to sum of all the gases in the mixture. This kind of makes sense. Like if you have three people pushing on something, the total force exerted is equal to those three people added together, right? So the pressure, the total pressure, Oops, <clears throat> the total pressure <clears throat> is equal to, you know, the pressure of one plus two plus three. So however many gases there are, uh, that, that those pressures added up will equal the total pressure. So let's do an example. It says a mixture of oxygen, carbon dioxide, and nitrogen has a combined atmosphere pressure, uh, pressure of 0.97 atmospheres. So that means the total, so if we just write this out, the total it's going to be oxygen, carbon dioxide, nitrogen, right? So the pressure of oxygen, O2, the pressure of carbon dioxide, CO2, and the pressure of nitrogen, which is N2. So we know that the total pressure is 0 0.97 atmospheres. The pressure of, we want to figure out the partial pressure of oxygen, so that's O2 plus 0 0.70 plus 0 0.12. So, if you solve for this, PO2, or the pressure due to oxygen, should be 0.15 atmospheres. Okay? Alright, we have an air pressure demo, and then I put a quizzes review for the quiz tomorrow.